I'm Gordy, North Coast Outdoors. Let's buy a new side-by-side. -side. We get asked fairly often what side-by-side uh, -side we'd recommend for someone who is just starting out. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, we can give a few tips about that sort of thing, uh, our opinions, side-by-sides, and we'll see what kind of answers we can come up with for you guys. So when I've been shopping for a new toy, I don't have any desire to spend thirty or forty thousand dollars on a machine. I don't want to have that expense, and so uh, that leaves the used market. So we do quite a bit of shopping on Craigslist and Marketplace, and uh, do research on YouTube to find out what people's opinion is for recommendations for what kind of rig to buy whether you want Can-Am or Polaris or Yamaha and two seat or four seat I started with a CF Moto Z Force 1000 uh, kind of an entry level rig for me um, it did what I wanted at the time it was fairly capable but uh, the brakes never seemed to work that great and I would break tie rod ends fairly regularly. So uh, when it came to the opportunity to pick up a new toy, I went with a Polaris Razor. So I got this Polaris Razor XP1000 a few months ago. Uh, I've been extremely happy with it. It's older, four years older than the uh, CF Moto that I had, this is a 14, the CF Moto was a, a 2018, but uh, this machine has been way, way more fun. Um, noticeably more power, better suspension, um, just all around better performance. It's comfortable, it's larger than the CF Moto. Uh, it's street legal, it's been added. Uh, blinkers have been added, horns been added, and uh, it has a pop-up windshield that is horrible because we live here in Western Washington and the uh, you have to have a windshield wiper and within five minutes of having the windshield wiper installed and used, it uh, completely scratched the windshield. So I'm gonna have to change to glass. This is a XP1000 double overhead cam. It, came with power steering, adjustable steering wheel, the seat, seat slide back and forth real easy um, so my wife can drive it. So I picked up this machine in Montana a few months back and it lived most of its life in Arizona. So it has the desert safety lights in the back. People are following me, they complain that the, the lights, the safety lights are too bright. Um, the strobe effect of them annoys everyone, so I pretty much just leave them off. It has the s &B particle separator uh, air filter uh, because it was in the desert for most of its mileage. Um, I haven't used it yet, but we do have a couple of trips planned to Eastern Washington where there might be quite a bit of dust, and so uh, it'll probably get used there. The machine came with the whips. I don't know what brand they are. I'm not able to change the colors, they're just blue. And actually one of them at the moment is not working at all. Walker Evans shocks. You can uh, adjust soft to hard uh, for the ride quality. It came with a uh, speaker system. My phone doesn't fit in there. I don't usually pay, play music when I'm uh, when I'm riding anyway because I'm recording and you know how that works on YouTube. You can't really have the music anyway. Chicken butt. There are uh, quite a few things that I need to still get for the machine. Some decent tires. I'm running stock 29s and um, I'm probably going to switch to 30s or 31s. I've been told that I can run 32s without any trouble and, and uh, that might be what happens. Zip is only concerned about uh, her sticks. Sticks must be thrown. Oh. 
So let's see, it needs new tires, a new windshield. I'm gonna go with glass. Um, it needs a winch. I added a rear bumper, which is really just a brush guard. You certainly wouldn't want to pull somebody out of a hole with it. It would probably tear the bumper right off the rig. I picked this machine up in Montana. It was quite a long drive. I live in uh, Western Washington, but I feel like it was worth it. The machine had 6,300 miles on it when I bought it, but uh, I purchased it on an aluminum trailer, machine and trailer together for $9,500. I immediately sold the trailer for a thousand because uh, it really was too small for the machine. So really I ended up paying $8,500 and I'm extremely pleased with the purchase. I don't have any buyer's remorse about it at all. So as to the question, turbo or non-turbo, most of the riding that we do is at the Walker Valley ORV Park here in Western Washington because it's only about 20 minutes away from us. And it's mostly technical riding. We're there almost every weekend. Uh, playing around and um, for us it seems that uh, turbo would be unnecessary and and maybe overkill um, we don't have any dunes that are near us uh, closest ones are in Moses Lake which is a few hours away three three and a half hours away uh, we might would want a turbo there but uh, for riding around here, um, this machine does everything that I want it to do. So if you like this content, if it was helpful at all, leave a like. Um, if you have any questions, leave me a comment. And if you have suggestions of what uh, I can do for my rig, uh, leave a comment. And maybe we'll see you on the trails.